Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are again going to solve a Portsvigal lab regarding DOM exercises. So the lab is DOM exercises in document dot write sync using source location dot search. So in this video, we will understand the lab. We will access the lab. We will solve the lab, but we will also understand the meaning of DOM exercises and how it is different from reflected exercises. it will be more and more clear as we go further with the video we will for you to understand dom exercises now if you have any doubts related to reflected exercises please check out my video i will put the link above and even in the description box so check that out first and then we can proceed further with dom exercises and the difference so before we start the lab contains a dom based exercises vulnerability it is in the search query tracking functionality and it uses javascript's document dot write function the document dot write function is called with data from location dot search which you can control using the website url okay so what we have understood here is a target would be the search the search uh, input area which will be on the website that is our target and our result should give an alert function to solve this lab so let's first understand what dom based cross site scripting vulnerability is yeah coming here let's start with what it is so we're going to go with basics of this to understand so what happens is uh, say for example you have a search option in your website or anywhere it can be a form also where a user can put some input okay so in such cases when the user is putting an input and uh, the the input is not sanitized it is just taken directly and then used as a query so it is taken as a query used somewhere in the code okay that's what it is so if we'll go by the data which is written here so they are telling it enables the attacker to execute malicious javascript which typically allows them to hijack other users account to deliver this you need to place data into a source so that it is propagated to sync and cause execution so let me show it to you and explain it to you better while i solve the lab so this is the lab once you access it this is how it opens up and at the very first we see the search so let me just write my name and search for it and see what happens so once you click on search we give get first of all this one big chunk of data which says zero search results for the search object now let me do one thing and open the developers tool we can just inspect an element and see it as well so over here this is the entire thing the entire code that we can see and what i'm going to do is i'm going to search the term i searched for here and we can see that it is there at two places one is this h1 that we can see right there on the website and what about the second one it is here okay so i can see that they are using this search term also in the image source so what comes to my mind is i can actually put a payload here instead of just entering alicia many i'm going to add a payload here okay but before that let me tell you what is happening theek hai so reflected exercises was when we are directly entering a script here script alert 1 and it pops up right there here whatever i am entering here is going in some part of the code and it is getting utilized here so they are using the search term here to find some images okay now this is where i will try and exploit it so let's now formulate our payload okay it is very easy to formulate it you just have to understand the code and what is happening in here so i want an alert in the end that is what i know my objective is clear so they are starting over here the image tag and inside that the search term equal to my query whatever i'm entering in this search box is coming here where alicia many is written so my main motive would be to close this image tag for that 
as you can see search term equal to after my term they had the double quotes and the angular bracket to close it so that's what i'm going to use first then i'm going to write the main payload or you can the main script that i want to write to be executed so that would be svg on load equal to alert one so what it will do is after the image or after this is loaded you please alert equal to what you have to do is you have to alert one that is what our motive is here so once we have formulated our payload we can go ahead and click on search and once we do that it gets executed we get the alert and it is quite clear now what dom xss is how dom xss is different from reflected xss and we also solved this lab so i hope you are clear with it if you have any doubts regarding dom based xss i would suggest you go through this article by potswiger and wherever you have any doubts or you want some clarification you can comment it down below in the comment section and i will surely help you even with the whole lab solving process if you have any doubts you know what to do right comment it and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and keep watching so that you get better and better in cyber security with me so thank you for watching see you